Well, hey friends, it has been a while since I've actually done a grocery haul, and it's been a couple months since I've been to Costco. So today, that was the day that I needed to do all the things food related. Okay, so we went to camp for two weeks, and there was nothing left in my fridge. There was nothing left. I didn't even have butter, y'all. So I needed to go and do a huge shop. So I'm going to turn you around and share with you everything I picked up at Costco. And then um, I also placed a grocery order. Now, placing an online grocery order has changed my life. I order from a grocery store called Real Canadian Superstore here in Canada. I'm going to leave a referral link in the description box below. If you have a Real Canadian Superstore near you and you have not yet tried this service, it's awesome. I highly recommend it. But the link will get you $10 off your first order. And I'll get $10 off too, which would be super awesome to save money on groceries. Um, so anyways, if you happen to live near that, um, go ahead and click that link if you would like to save a little money. And thank you if you do. So, are you ready? I'm dreading putting all this away. I just gotta be honest. I'm dreading it. So, here we go. Okay, so starting over here, I got uh, broccoli. And I always love to get this kind of broccoli. It doesn't have pesticides. Um, it comes in four different steamable bags. We don't steam simply because I don't have a microwave. Um, and so I just cook it on the stove. But really, really like this frozen broccoli. And we got um, Kirkland brand chicken breast. I love also to have these in my freezer. They are such a handy protein source um, because these can be cooked from frozen. It's just so easy and handy. In fact, when we came back from camp and I had nothing <laughs> for lunch, nothing um, to feed my family, I had a bag of this chicken in my freezer and I was able to cook up chicken breast. And it seems like once you have chicken breast, you can make a million things. Um, I got some organic honey. Now, I do actually have several jars of raw honey in my pantry, but I don't like to use raw honey when it comes to um, heating it, like it, for cooking or baking purposes, because um, it, the heat destroys a lot of the properties, the good benefits of having raw honey. So I do like to just use this organic honey when I make things like my granola bars and stuff like that. I got two half and half creamers. Um, a big bag of chocolate chips. My garden is going crazy with zucchini right now. And this week I'm going to work on getting a lot of it put up for the winter. But I am also going to make a ton of zucchini bread and zucchini muffins. And I have a wonderful recipe for um, chocolate chip zucchini bread that is just, just so good. So we need a chocolate chips for that. I got two bunches of bananas, um, some Silver Hills bread, there's two bread packs in, um, in that container, some sour cream, I got avocado oil, um, I love avocado oil for high heat cooking, and this is what I use for like all of my sautéing, if I make popcorn I use avocado oil to pop the kernels, it's great stuff. Um, and then we got some extra virgin olive oil. I rarely use extra virgin olive oil for cooking anymore. Um, if I do, it's over very low heat. However, I love it to mix with like balsamic vinegar um, as a salad dressing. So when we do use extra virgin olive oil, again, it's usually just with like salads and things like that. Um, I got one, two, three, four, five, six butters. I love to have my freezer stocked with butter because I love to bake and cook, and butter is a fat that we use quite often. But <laughs> we ran out. Um, I haven't been to Costco in several months, and Costco is the best place to get um, butter because it is the cheapest place. Um, and so I just stick this right in my freezer, and I pull one out um, when I need a new one. I got a pack of provolone cheese and mozzarella. We got a big container of fresh blueberries and then a big bag of frozen blueberries. And we also got um, mangoes, and I love these frozen mangoes. These are just such a favorite thing. Um, they are tested for pesticide residue, which I can appreciate, and they're non-GMO, which is really awesome as well. I just dumped these into a glass dish inside of my free fridge, and they thaw, and then we're able to just snack on them. My kids love them. They are just so delicious. <laughs> 
Um, I also got this big container of almond milk. So I really like that this can be stored in the pantry. I think I'm going to use almond milk quite a bit, and I usually do use a lot of it, but sometimes I'm just not in the mood, um, and it can go bad on me because I'm not using it as quick as I think I'm going to. So these containers are a bit smaller. You get six in this pack, um, and when I, you know, I, I can put the rest in the pantry when I'm not using it. So um, I like that these are also non-GMO too. And then we got um, some Kirkland brand uh, Greek yogurt. So I got all of this, and then, so I bought my daughter a snowsuit in August. Yes, friends, I did it. It was so hot. The air conditioning actually went out in my brand new truck today. Um, <laughs> so it was really ridiculous um, to think that I was buying a snowsuit. However, I have been caught more than one year needing a snowsuit for my daughter, and I'd waited too long to purchase it. And I was either paying through the nose for it, or they were just out, like everywhere. So Costco always has snowsuits on in July and August. Really kind of towards the end of July, beginning of August is what I found locally. Um, ours are $70, and you get a really nice coat um, and the snow pants. And... Um, yeah, it's just, it's a really good one. We bought one last year for Colt, and it wore beautifully. We actually sized up a bit for him, and um, he's able to wear it again this year. So we had done the same thing for Aubrey last year, so she wore her snowsuit for two years, and this is the year that she needed a new one. So when I saw them there, I was like, ah, oh, I gotta get it. Um, I think I'll go back and get, actually, winter boots, because they had those there as well. It just, it seems that... Um, the stuff comes out early and you need to get it when you when it's there uh, so that you can have it when the time comes. So, and I've spent way too much time in the past looking for boots and snowsuits that will fit my kids. Things get picked over quickly and because we live in northern Ontario, you have to have this stuff. Like you just, you can't not have a snowsuit and you can't not have um, good quality snow boots for your kids. It's just, it's, it's a reality of living in the great white north. So we also got dog food. Okay, so grocery haul time. Um, so I got four Hunt's tomato sauces. I have so many tomatoes in my garden. They are all green right now. And I cannot wait to actually attempt to make homemade pasta sauce and hopefully can it for the winter so I can actually stop buying pasta sauce. Um, but I do like this Hunt's brand. It is sugar-free and... It's really difficult to find a tomato sauce without sugar in it. So I got some water enhancers. You all know I love these. They came out with a few new flavors. And I have two lemonade, which are so good. Um, tangerine grapefruit. I got two of those. And one pink lemonade. And then I have fruit punch here at home. I also got um, some mayonnaise. I had a big Costco mayonnaise. Um, and before camp... I dropped it out of my fridge and it exploded all over my kitchen. So I needed more mayonnaise. <laughs> um, I got some strawberry jam. Sadly, I didn't go strawberry picking this year. I, this is like the first time in 10 years that I haven't picked strawberries. And so I didn't put any in my freezer and I didn't can any jam. And I'm so sad about that. Strawberry jam is like my all-time favorite. Um, so I just bought a jar to have on hand. I got some um, large flake oats. We are loving oatmeal in the morning, and we are running low. I got two packs of pretzel sticks. And I got two bags of white flour. This is the all-purpose flour. I really like this particular brand, Miller's, um, Miller's Pride. It's 100% Canadian wheat. It's bleach-free, no preservatives, non-GMO. And, of course, it's vitamin-enriched. Um, all flour is basically stripped of all of its vitamins um, unless you are grounding your own wheat which is what I'm hoping to be able to do sometime later this year my goal and hope is to get a um, wheat grinder it's been on my wish list for a couple years now and hoping to make that happen but like I mentioned I'm going to be doing a lot of um, baking as far as like breads and muffins and my flour is really low so I got two bags of those I also got coconut sugar. I really like to use this when I sweeten stuff for the kids. It's a lower glycemic sugar. Um, and I got coconut flour. 
I did also pick up a pack of regular sugar, just regular white sugar for my baking. And I got the kids some blueberry Greek yogurt. I think they'll like that. Um, I got some hamburger buns. I really like to get these ones from the deli. They're kind of like, I don't know, a sort of homemade type roll. I really like those. We're going to have hamburgers later this week. And the kids like to have buns with theirs. I got two packs of broccoli, two crowns of broccoli. There's actually, they come in a two pack, so it's like four crowns. Um, baby carrots. And I got this Renee's Caesar dressing. So I usually make my own salad dressing, but I gotta be honest, guys. Sometimes, well, I guess this is the first time it's happened in a long time, but I've just gotten kind of burned out and sick of making my own salad dressing. Um, so I bought this. This is a really quality, good brand, and I'm looking forward to something different. <laughs> um, some green onions, a, what is this thing? Cucumber. I wanted to call it a zucchini. I got more blueberries. You're going to be blueberried out. Um, and a big thing of strawberries. One avocado, some salami, some ham, cherries, um, peaches. Four plums. I'm loving plums right now. I could eat all of those right now. <laughs> um, goat's milk cheese. I love this for salads. Um, some onions. And then I got four. There's four of these bad boys. Four cauliflower. Y'all, <laughs> I gotta tell you, um, these things were on sale for $1.48. And they are big and they're beautiful and they're not spotted. So I need to take care of them very soon before they start to turn. Um... I have some videos here on my channel that I will link to of what you can do with cauliflower. Cauliflower is a huge staple in my diet, and I use it a lot of times instead of potatoes. I've used it even to make, like, crust and different things like that for, like, stromboli. Um, and anyways, it's just, it's a really big part of my diet. So when it's so inexpensive, I like to buy it. And I will make cauliflower rice, and I will um, blanch cauliflower and put it in my freezer to use later. It, just for a little bit of work, you can save yourself so much money from buying frozen cauliflower or from um, actually buying fresh cauliflower in the middle of winter when it's not in season. So um, $1.48 was a great price. I may actually go back and get more um, just to stock the freezer with this stuff. Okay, so I got lots of eggs. Um, I got two packs of the free run eggs. I love these eggs. They have the most yellow, bright, bright yellow yolk ever. They're so beautiful. Um, I wish I knew someone locally who just sold like free run eggs. I could just go to their farm and pick them up, but I don't. Um, so I get these at the grocery store. And then I just got some regular eggs. Um, these are going to be for my baking. These, I eat eggs pretty much every morning. So I do like to have kind of a more quality egg, I guess. Um, and then the other ones will just be great for baking. Anyways, whew. <laughs> it is muggy. I need to turn on the fan. Um, that's my haul. And now I gotta go put all of this away, make the kiddos some dinner, and get on with my night. I hope you guys had, have, have a great day. Um, I will chat with you soon if you are a regular viewer of mine. I will have some new content coming. Like I said, we were away um, at camp for two weeks and just offline, off the internet, off of social media because there wasn't really internet, you know, um, and it was wonderful. It was so great. So anyways, I got a lot of stuff coming for you, lots of homeschool stuff because I'm full on homeschool right now and other life updates. Anyways, hope you guys are doing great. Let me know how you are in the comments below and I will talk to you soon. There's cool. <laughs> Bye.